do you look like that? What? What do you mean? You're kind of scary. Why do I look like I know how to play a guitar? I think your soulmate did it. Come on, we have to get in the car now. I have to go to school like this? Yeah, you can't skip it. Whoa, are you trying to be in a band? Ah, yes, real funny. I played the trombone. My soulmate gave me a Gucci belt. Why are you bragging when I look like this? I think you look kind of cool. <sighs> Bailey, come to the office. What? But I wasn't even late today. I skipped Starbucks. No, that's not it. Your outfit is inappropriate. What? Why? It's distracting to other students. But I didn't pick this. My soulmate did. It doesn't matter. You're suspended. Leather is against the dress code. You're suspending me for wearing a leather jacket? Exactly. You can't leave until your parents can pick you up. My parents can't pick me up there at work. Then you can sit over there with the other hooligans. Dana, you spray painted the back of the school again? No, it wasn't me. Wait, I know that you didn't do that. Why? Because you did? No. I'm adding on to your suspension. Expiration in five hours? Huh, I didn't know that drinks expire. You idiot, it's not when your drink expires. Well then, what is it? The expiration date is when your life expires. What? What a time? Well, you don't have much of a choice. Are you okay? <laughs> no! What's wrong? I expire in three hours. Aw, I'm gonna miss you. Great, that helps a lot. Okay, listen, I know a guy that can help you. Really? Where do I find him? He's in a cloak behind the dumpsters. The password is spaghetti. Spaghetti, got it. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me- What's the password? Spaghetti. Oh, yeah. My expiration date is really soon and I don't want to die. I can fix it, but there might be side effects. What kind of side effects? A headache, diarrhea, I don't really know. I can handle that. Let's do it. If you say so. Hey, look at that. It actually worked this time. I should probably the apple. The apple. Yeah. That would do me. Uh, I've never heard that side effect before. Hey, bitches, get dressed with me to go to the Melrose Trading Post. If you don't live in LA, you're probably like, Bailey, what the fuck is that? It's basically a flea market with like everything you could ever imagine. I really want to wear this Guns N' Roses baby tee. Emphasis on the baby part because I genuinely got this from the kids section at Target. If it fits, it fits. I have been dying to wear this little green mini skirt. I have struggled, but I think I won. It's very short, so I'm gonna have to walk around like this. I don't know why I can never find a matching sock. They're always close, but just not quite right. I definitely need a jacket because I'm always cold, and this one is just so fucking cool. This is cute, I can't tell. I think I'm gonna try this little crop jacket from Brandy Melville. Just got these insane platform sneakers from Windsor Smith, so I think I have to wear them. Okay, now that I see it with the shoes, I've changed my mind and I'm gonna put this shirt on. Okay, I feel like this outfit just took a full 180. I took off the locket and put on some different bigger chains. I think that this is our final outfit. I really like it. I've been trying to be a little bit more quirky with my outfits because I always wear the same three pieces of clothing. Let me know what you would rate this out of 10 in the comments. A lot of you have been asking for my everyday makeup tutorial, so I'm gonna give it to you and I will try to be quick. For primer, I use the B Goldie Drops by Drunk Elephant. Blend with your hand. I lightly fill my brows with the NYX Cosmetics Brow Pencil. NYX Brow Glue to hold them in place. I use one and a half pumps of foundation all over my face. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Blending with this huge Tarte foundation brush. I'm putting the NARS Creamy Concealer over my blemishes. This is where I put my concealer and I use the Makeup Forever HD Skin. Blending it out with this Hourglass Concealer Brush. Makeup by Mario Contour Stick, this is how I put it. It, blending it out using an angled tart brush going upwards on my face and then bringing it all the way down to my jawline. I blend out my nose contour with my finger, bringing it up to the start of my eyebrow. For blush, the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm wand like this, blending it up onto my temple and on my eye. Setting my face with the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder, bronzing a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer, Patrick Ta Blush and She's Giving. I hate to do this, but go to part two. <laughs> This is part two of my everyday makeup routine. For fake freckles, I use this freck tint and then I blend it out with my finger. Put them on the bridge of my nose and then very lightly onto my cheeks. For highlight, I use this Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Do a little here and a little on the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna put it on my inner corners with my finger and also under the brow. I'm lining my lips with this MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. Over top, I'm using the Burt's Bees Gloss and Glow Sticks. Lastly, I've put some eyeliner just in the corner of my bottom waterline. And that is how you end up looking Looking exactly like me. I feel like I did so much, but I kind of look the same. There is no place for these in my closet, but did I still get a bunch of stuff? Yes. I know this has gray lab again, but it's endless rose and I got three things. I don't have any words. I don't think I've ever had jeans fit me absolutely perfectly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Are you kidding me? Perfect. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be and it's amazing, gorgeous, but not funny. I'm actually stuck. I don't know why I didn't put my arm in here. I figured out how to get the top off. It's so elegant and it's not covering my arm with all the tattoos on it, so I love that. We got one thing from PacSun. It's actually a little bigger than I thought, so I think this would be really cute with a little punk rock belt or something. I'm excited for this one. This is English Factory. I'm going to hold this one closed, but it's a little two-piece matching set. And lastly, I got a three-piece matching set from That's So Fetch. I love matching sweats says because it's like I'm not trying at all but I still look cute. In case you get cold you can just add the sweatshirt on top. I got this bodysuit from Blue Bella but you best believe I'm not trying it on for you guys. All for my haul today. I hope you guys loved it. Let me know if I should do some more. No, the capital of the US is not the United Kingdom. Then why do they both have United in the name? I can read people's minds or people can read my mind. Bitch, that's an easy choice. Hey babe. Oh hey. God I love boobs. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Uh is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing's wrong. Have you done something different to your hair today? I did not brush it this morning. It looks like a bird's living in it. Excuse me? What? I said that it looks good. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. I wonder what Miss Matthews is thinking about. Miss Matthews, I was wondering what I got on my last test. I'm just a freak, yeah. <laughs> you got a 4%. This is not funny, Bailey. It wasn't a laugh. It was a sneeze. At you! See? How do I tell my girlfriend I got her sister pregnant? You got my sister pregnant? What? How did you know that? I'm a psychic. Mm. I sense that you're a fucking ass. Ready with me while I tell you why my mom is literally a bitch. So yesterday I went into Sephora with my mom and I went over to Drunk Elephant because I wanted the retinol drops. And she literally wouldn't get them for me because she said I didn't need it. Honestly though, I think she's just jealous because she looks like a leather handbag. But it gets worse because she got the worker to come over and say whether or not it was safe to put on my face. And she literally said no. And I was like, why are you both ganging up on me right now? I just wanted some Drunk Elephant. So obviously I did the only reasonable thing and I started sobbing in the store. And then I swept everything off of the Drunk Elephant display like i guess it all worked out in the end because she ended up getting it for me anyway either way i'm still mad because i asked her for a tiffany's bracelet for christmas and she literally got me one from claire's like ugh, i would never be caught dead wearing that and then i asked her for a lambo for christmas and she literally got me an american girl doll like those two things are not even remotely close to each other she said it's because i can't drive but like i'm gonna be able to drive eventually so why not just buy the car now anyway i literally just want to move out because this household is so toxic Get ready with me to drop my best friend because she's a fake ass bitch. I had this boyfriend, Brian, and like everybody knew because we had been dating for a whole four days and she knew that. And she was over at my house and she was like, I'm cold, can I get a sweatshirt? And I said, yeah, but go to the back because I didn't want her wearing any of my nice ones and getting them all smelly. So I leave or whatever because I had to go to the bathroom and when I come back, she's literally wearing my boyfriend's fucking hoodie. I started screaming at her, but she tried to be all like, oh my God, I didn't know that it was your boyfriend's hoodie. I had no idea. I just knew that wasn't true because he's an identical triplet and his mom puts his name on every time of every clothing item he has. I kicked her out, but she's just so jealous because her mom only buys her CeraVe and not Drunk Elephant, and that's why nobody will date her. Plus, before this, for my birthday, she literally got me a make-your-own bracelet bead kit from Walmart. Like, do I look like I'm five? It's a new year, and I can't afford to have fake friends, so I'm going over to her house to tell her that she's a homewrecker, and I hate her. Get ready with me while I tell you why I'm literally gonna sue Sephora because their worker ruined my life. Yesterday, me and eight of my closest best friends went in there to go dip our grubby little hands into all the tester products. After like 20 seconds of being in the store, one of the employees came over to us and was like, do you need help with anything? Personally, I wanted a different worker to help us because her makeup looked like shit and she was like 25, which is so old and not up to the trends at all. One of my friends says, yeah, we need the drunk elephant bronzing drops now. But this bitch says, oh, we actually just ran out of those. So we all started screaming at her, like just go get some more from the back. It's really nice not that hard to just do your job but she keeps insisting that they don't have any and clearly she wasn't using it because she was so pale so we told her to point us to summer friday's lip balm instead she told us that they were out of those too like do you guys have anything in this entire store hello only reasonable response was for me to throw a tantrum and all of my friends started throwing tantrums too because they got like triggered by me I you would not believe this she comes back over to us and tells us that we're banned for 30 days and that we need to leave the store immediately and it turns out that my sister had the drops all along so i guess i didn't really need to do all that but like whatever Sis, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again. Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too, she's so annoying. Fake ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Ass hat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie and I'm gonna get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Do people still feel if I hit them?
Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? Besties, happy new year. Let's get ready together for countdown day two. Yesterday it was so fucking cold and I don't want to do that again. So we went out and bought wine pajama pants. So this is the first part. Absolutely. They're so nice. We also went and bought some fuzzy socks. So these are up next. Pink! For my top, I have this amazing sparkly bralette. I had to show my spirit somehow because I know I'm gonna be cold again. I have this shrug to put on top. This top is absolutely everything. I love it. Because this still isn't enough, I'm gonna wear this bedazzled coat over top. I was wearing like Funny. black pants. It, it would actually look sick. Look it would yeah. look like a fit, but this is just like, we gave up. <laughs> For shoes, I'm wearing my big old black boots again. I'm gonna look so goofy. For an accessory, I'm gonna wear this very fun cross necklace. And I'm just gonna do some little hoop earrings. Finishing touch, yesterday I bought a hot pink patch and it is the best thing I've ever seen. Quite literally can't miss me. I hope I'm not gonna be cold today. Love you, happy new year. Hi, I think that you're my mom. <laughs> no shot, kid, you're talking to the wrong girl. But I was just assigned to you by the soulmate system. You were what? I have to follow you everywhere you go. I'm not allowed to leave until you find your soulmate. I have to have a 10 year old following me around all the time. I'm 13, thank you very much. Oh, my bad. At least I'm not a grandma like you. Can I have a sip of that? No. Why not? You're being mean to me. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I, you suck. What do 13 year olds do? Do I have to buy you like Legos or something? No, I just wanna scroll on TikTok. We have to go, can you drive? No, I'm 13. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Jessica, why do you have a newborn baby? This is what the soulmate system gave me. Bet you like me now, huh? I have no idea who my soulmate could be, and I don't want to be stuck with this forever. This? Excuse me. Your soulmate has a kid the same age, so go where they'll hang out. I don't know where kids hang out. The mall! No, I hate the mall. Too bad, we're going. Do you have anything to trade for lunch? Are you seriously going to eat all of that? Bitch, what's wrong with you? Bailey, Amy, hey, what's up? Hey, Chad, we were just talking time ago, right? No, it was like super recently. Stop talking. So cold. Oh, you're cold? Do you want to wear my jacket then? Uh, no, I'm like so dumb. I do not understand this math at all. My shoe does not fit right. Uh, that reminds me of the time that Amy got such a bad shoe. Guys, help. She's trying to fight me. I think I'm missing a face. Three plus three. 30. Yeah. Do you know how much brain storage you have yet? I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be a lot. You need a lot to be able to hold information. I know, it'll be fine. Oh my god, you only got one gigabyte? That's really good, right? This is not gonna end well. Can you hold this for a sec? What is it? Oh, it's a Barbie. Barbie. Okay, why are you petting her? Hey, Bailey, what's up? Barbie. Uh, okay. Don't talk to her, she doesn't have any storage. Bailey, two plus two equals five. Two plus two equals five. Haha, <laughs> that's great. The first president was Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Perfect, that's right. Stop it, you're filling her storage up with useless information. Dora the Explorer. Two plus two equals five. Her information's not even correct. Barbie, two plus two equals five. Dora the Explorer. I didn't think I would use it all that quickly. We have to reset her storage. She's as dumb as a rock. <gasps> hey, Bailey! You made me mess up my lip gloss. Our ranks are gonna come out. It says that I'm over 1,000. Yeah, I don't care. Suck it up, sorry. You don't. Oh, hey, babe. Hey, I'm breaking up with you because I've decided to replace you. I have my best friend. I mean, I'm definitely your best friend. I that would be amazing. Here, you can take this. Shit, I'm letting her cheat off you. No, she was just asking for help. That's it. Pop Never enough. I think we can help each other. Being single. No way. This isn't to all the boys I've left before. Listen, I'm the- This is my girlfriend. You're dating him? Yeah, I am. <gasps> hey, Bailey! You made me mess up my lip gloss. Our ranks are gonna come out. It says that I'm over 1,000. Yeah, I don't care. Suck it up, sorry. You don't. Oh, hey, babe. Hey, I'm breaking up with you because I've decided to replace you. I have my best friend. I mean, I'm definitely your best friend. I that would be amazing. Here, you can take this. Shit, I'm letting her cheat off you. No, she was just asking for help. Hey, I'm gonna go pick up this cat that I found from a guy on Craigslist. Oh, really? Where are you going? He said that I should come into the basement. Don't you think that sounds a little sketchy? No, I think I'll be fine. You know what would be such a good spot for photos? Ooh, I need some good ones. Where? The train track. Girl, what if the train starts coming? Yeah, but we could just run. No. Come on, it'll be so aesthetic. Yeah, casket aesthetic. I think I'm gonna drive to the store. You don't have a license and you've never driven a car before. I mean, yeah, but how hard could it be? I've played GTA and Mario Kart before. Those are not the same thing. This Red Bull expired six years ago. Oh, ew, what are you doing? I was thirsty. How are you still alive?
Get ready with me while I tell you why I'm never speaking to my mom ever again. A while ago, she gave me an emergency credit card and she told me to only use it if I was actually having an emergency. We got into this whole argument because she said skincare is not an emergency and I said, yes, it is, but clearly she doesn't get it because by the looks on her skin, she's never even seen or touched skincare. She took my credit card away, so I'm filing for emancipation of a minor because I don't want to have to deal with her anymore. Also because when I flushed our hamster down the toilet, she got so mad at me. Like, why? She basically said you're only supposed to flush a fish and I said, well, why did the hamster go down the drain then my mom said that we were gonna bury him but at this point i want to bury her instead by the way i'm getting ready to go burn all of her belongings in the backyard so this is the final look Mwah, love you